Okay, taking a look at some of the words of this person right here, Judith Butler today. Okay. Life has to be protected. It is precarious. I would even go so far as to say that precarious life is, in a way, a Jewish value for me. When one set of Jews labels another set of Jews anti-Semitic, they are trying to monopolize the right to speak in the name of the Jews. So the allegation of anti-Semitism is actually a cover for an intra-Jewish quarrel. When Zionism becomes coextensive with Jewishness, Jewishness is pitted against the diversity that defines democracy and, if I may say so, betrays one of the most important ethical dimensions of the disaporic Jewish tradition, namely, the obligation of cohabitation with those different from ourselves. A challenge to the right of Israel to exist can be construed as a challenge to the existence of the Jewish people only if one believes that Israel alone keeps the Jewish people alive or that all Jews invest their sense of perpetuity in the state of Israel in its current or traditional form. I grew up very sceptical of a certain kind of Jewish separatism in my youth. I mean, I saw the Jewish community was always with each other. They didn't trust anybody outside. You'd bring someone home, and the first question was, are they Jewish? Are they not Jewish? Honestly, what can really be said about the Jewish people as a whole. Is it not a lamentable stereotype to make large generalizations about all Jews? And to presume they all share the same political commitments? As a Jew, I was taught that it was ethically imperative to speak up and to speak out against arbitrary state violence. That was part of what I learned when I learned about the Second World War and the concentration camps. Understanding Hamas, Hezbollah, as social movements that are progressive, that are on the left, that are part of a global left, is extremely important. That does not stop us from being critical of certain dimensions of both movements. Wow, yeah, I have to comment on that one. Very controversial point there. Fundamentalist Islamist groups as progressives not in my book, and they're not part of any global left that I want to be a part of. But anyway, back to the quotes. I think that every sexual position is fundamentally comic. Yeah, the same thought has passed through my mind more than once. A man who reads effeminate may well be consistently heterosexual, and another one might be gay. We can't read sexuality off of gender. This is true. Yeah. Here's another good point. I think we won't be able to understand the operations of transphobia, homophobia, if we don't understand how certain kinds of links are forged between gender 
and sexuality. In the minds of those who want masculinity to be absolutely separate from femininity and heterosexuality to be absolutely separate from homosexuality. Critical does not mean destructive, but only willing to examine what we sometimes presuppose in our way of thinking, and that gets in the way of making a more livable world. Yeah, very true. And every person can benefit from an examination of their own beliefs and values, for sure. I'll leave you with this one, hopefully food for thought. As we interpret ourselves differently, we also live ourselves differently.